Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the next illusion of Magic Kaito. So, this series was subbed a lot faster than previous weeks of Magic Kaito. We did not have to wait till Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or even Thursday. It actually got subbed like freaking on time. Like, it came out, it got subbed like less than six hours after. So, Congrats to the translators, whoever translated this, thank you so much for translating it because it is amazing getting to see the Magic Kaito greatness so early in the week. Now, this episode of Magic Kaito, wow, it has, I guess, two main important things going on in this episode. You have the beginning where supposedly there is a ghost that's in the school at night, and then you have the second part of the episode to where you have it where Akiko wants to kill Kaito Kid. And pretty much you have it to where the characters progress, like they have character development to where they realize that they need to never forget their inner child. They need to have a maturity about them, but they cannot forget their inner child. So that's how the actual concepts could be described in this episode of Magic Kaito. But let's dive in deep and let's talk about these like different segments of this episode because this episode was really, really enjoyable. The beginning, let's just talk about the beginning first. So, the beginning part of the episode is very standard and basic. It, it lays down the very foundation of the later half of the episode with, you know, the child, inner child of characters and maturity of the characters. Pretty much that entire beginning just set up the foundation for Akiko being, like, more mature and realizing that she's a child, that she needs to be more mature, along with Kaito Kid realizing that he has an inner child and he should never forget it. So, this episode was more like a character realizing that they need to grow up. That's kind of what this episode was if you think about it as a big picture and the thing was too at the beginning of the episode it had a lot of comedy like the beginning portion of this episode was just straight out comedy like I mean it was a standard ghost story type you know ghost haunted theme school we see a lot in slice of life anime and so it's not something I haven't seen before a majority of the entire concepts were rather cliche and I have seen like the entire examples of this a lot but we have to go figure Magic Kaito has came out quite a long time ago, so at the time when this came out, I'm guessing the cliches around that time were not as, you know, known. For instance, I'm guessing the cliches of the classroom being haunted wasn't as well known. So I can look past that. It was still enjoyable for what it did. Getting to see Alko have that fucking fake blood on her face, and she's like, <laughs> when her eyes roll back, oh my god, dude. I broke, I, I broke when I saw all that blood get on her face, and you saw her eyes just roll back in her fucking head when she got scared. I'm like, dude, dude, that, that, that's fun now. That is, that's fun now. Because when I saw Alco just get that scared, her eyes roll back, that, that's funny. That's funny as fuck. And it's not just that. We Just the beginning portion, the real cause of the the ghost or the strange appearances going on at school at night was because of Akiko actually doing experiments, testing magic, stuff like that, which I had my suspicion. I pretty much thought it was her the entire time because the voice actor honestly did not do the job well of hiding the voice. I could easily tell who it was. And the way the character design was with the girl, how we could tell it was a girl with the robe and stuff, it was obvious that it was Akiko the entire time in the ghost like the school that's being portrayed as a ghost it was kind of obvious but besides that it still was an enjoyable watch going into the second half second half is where the main moral of the episode comes into play where you get to see the bank robbery where kaito kid is stealing once again and you have it to where akiko actually has to stop kaito kid like she tries to stop kaito kid by killing him but she realizes that she cannot kill him like she's starting to show attachment for him and she realizes this in this episode like she had a chance to really kill kaito kid but she didn't take it so, as I said in my previous reviews, that it seems like she will become a very big ally for Kaito Kid way off in the future. Because, I mean, right now, it doesn't seem like it would be much help for Akiko to actually help Kaito Kid. But, I mean, we gotta go figure. There's probably gonna be more witches that are gonna be introduced in this series that are definitely gonna try to kill Kaito Kid. And if she's gonna help Kaito Kid, it would definitely be a great ally for him. Because, I mean, he'll have someone help him out with actual magic to get him out of terrible situations. So, yeah, that's pretty much the episode of Magic Kaito. I mean, that's the real main things you can get from it. It's still fun. The animation was pretty decent. I mean, actually, I didn't see any animation derps this week. I mean, I really did not notice any, so that's really good. The animation actually was a lot better than previous weeks. Music, oh my god. I love that music. I, I really, really love that freaking, like, Akiko theme song. Yeah, the choir shit. I, I can't sing, okay? Don't even try to make me sing. I, I'll, I'll break everybody's eardrums. But pretty much... 
the, the, the choir, the fucking choir, oh, that, that, that is my favorite song from the series, besides the opening and ending song, that is my favorite song, just the way it sounds, it really, really makes the mood of the series just on an entirely different level, so tell me your thoughts in the comments below, I love y'all so much, you have a wonderful day or not, wherever you live, please be safe, chibi out.